My father is dead. Murdered in Kowloon. He always told me that this life, the life of a gangster, can be short, even for a boss. Most of the family believes he died while meditating at the temple. The truth is, he was worshipping other gods, his two favorites. I'm not gonna try and pronounce that great coke and cheap women. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Regardless, I have sworn on his grave to find those responsible, to avenge him. I did this mostly so as to guarantee my inheritance, but also because the old man was a good guy. For a philandering drug addled murderer. <clears throat> this is the first time I see these kinds of words. Yu Jian, his sword, generations old. He always been the one to keep this type of stuff. I think that's what they said. A tradition my father invented after winning the sword in a card game. Okay. Now I've got to deliver the stupid thing to the family's new patriarch. Uncle Wu Kenny Lee in that great American melting pot Liberty City. The last time I visited Liberty City, I caught crabs off a Swiss tourist. <laughs> Still even a pampered little snot like me shouldn't be able to bungle deliver a sword to moody and power crazy uncle. With the penchant of for exotic porn pornography and impersonate okay. Come on, like I Oh my god, I'm not even skipping the dialogue. Sometimes though, even the simplest of jobs don't work out quite the way you expect them to. I'm trying my best reading, I'm kinda of retired. Mr. Li? Huang Li? Your uncle sent us to meet you. Fuck, we're, we're getting jumped. It's a fucking ambush. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my let's play of Grand Theft Auto Chinatown Wars, baby. The PSP DS exclusive GTA game they made. It came out on every handheld, except um, like the old ones and it never came out on PC or Xbox. However, I am playing this in an emulator uh, because I don't have the PSP and I used to have this game on DS and I actually did play it. Uh, kind of went a bit far, uh, but I got stuck on one mission and just ditched the game. And then I sold it and now I'm like, fuck, I really want to complete it. So here we go. If you're so fucking clever, how come you have to rob people for a living? He's not moving, he's not breathing, he got a bullet wound to the head. You know what? I'm gonna stake my reputation on this one, the kid is dead. Ah shit, then we are fucked. What are we gonna do? I thought you were the guy with the brains, let me think. We're gonna have to dump him. I wonder where. In a the dumpster? They're dumping me. I might actually get out of this madness alone. If I don't die of shock first, of course. As soon as they stop the crawl, I'll make my move. They won't suspect the thing.
Okay, genius, bail. Clearly not my day. Oh. Get to the shore. I don't remember this game being like this. <laughs> what a place. Being up shot and nearly drowned within minutes of getting here. Welcome to Liberty City, motherfucker. My father would have paid for this kind of stuff. Or for this kind of fun, but it's never appealed to me. I'd rather find a car and get over to Uncle Kenny's. Uh, press start to skip a cutscene. Got it. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Grand Theft Auto Chinatown Wars. Now, this game looks weird. Yeah, as I said, this is just a handheld version of Grand Theft Auto. But this is an exclusive game. They never release it on PC or consoles. Unless you emulate it like I am right now. Uh, use X to stick the screwdriver into the ignition lock, then use rotate to rotate it. And force the ignition lock so that you can drive the car. Very cool thing about the game is these certain things you would do on the DS bottom screen. Um, which was... Can I... Do I have to destroy this? Uh, which was, like, you could... You hot... Or not hotbox cars, but like, you can like... Whenever you try to steal a car, you need to do certain, like, mini games before, you, you, like, you take it. And it was always cool to do that with the DS stylus in the bottom screen. But this is the PSP version! A cop just crashed into me, I didn't get one to level. Um, so this is the PSP version, which... Pretty much doesn't have that, but, like, it replaces it with buttons and stuff, which is still cool, in my opinion. Uh, it's very unique. Instead of just everything being done automatically, because then th this game would have been so boring, man. So yeah, we're at Uncle Kenny's house. Uh, let's go in. I wish there was voice acting in this, man. I have to read everything. I'm bad at reading. Not gonna lie. Huang, I heard you've been killed. Thank all that is good that you are alive. Is this gonna skip I said, yeah. What happened? I was hoping for a couple of strippers and a VIP table in a club. Instead, I was ambushed, robbed, and left for dead, uncle. Not much of a welcome. Just like your father, a playboy, not a worker. These are dangerous times, Huang. But we will find and deal with these killers. Do you still have the sword? Do you have you, Jian? I think the murderers took it. Either that, or your useless bodyguards. Don't get snotty with me, you little brat. I promise you Yang as a gift to our leader. Cream drumming. It would have gained me great favor with them. Perhaps even sealing my position as his replacement when he steps down. It's loss with irreparable damage my, my standing. My honor is best... best I don't even know what that word is. But Smirch? Uncle, it's 2009, not 1403. And you were going to give the sword away? Well, it's been in our family for generations. Don't give me that bullshit. Your father won that thing in a card game. As a gift to Sheen, it would have made me the triad boss here in Liberty City. Wang, your father was a good man, but he's dead now, and that puts me in charge. I have to do what is best for the family, even if it goes against our tradi traditions and my desires. I have arranged an apartment for you. Rest there for a while. We will speak again soon, once we have both calmed down. Grief can be very unsettling. So, can being shot in the head and nearly drown... Okay. Did I read that right? <laughs> that sentence felt unfinished. Um, all right. If you ever played GTA 4, you know these areas. I remember. This is, I believe we're Huang, right? Well, the guy we play as, like, his apartment. Like, I know how to get to this place in GTA 4. That's all I'm gonna say. I'm not boasting. It's literally the same exact map, but, you know, it's pretty cool how you can visit these areas in GTA 4. Yeah. So. Whoops. Whenever I press triggers, it either speeds up the game, I can speed up the game, or I can do a safe state. Um, so if I click that, then that's because like I'm used to driving with triggers 
So yeah. Um, what can I do with the D-pad? I can just reset my position where I'm facing. Okay, that's cool. Um, yeah, so we have our apartment. We have a garage, which I believe only fits one or two cars. And then we have an apartment, which is like, which looks like this. So you can go into a laptop and you can go and save. I'm going to overwrite my old save. Um, just so it doesn't load that save for no reason. Um, and in the laptop, we have emails. We have this, which is just stats, really. Uh, it, it, it doesn't work because this is, of course, an emulated game. Uh, if I had an actual DS, I might have been able to check that out, but I can't. Um, and we got emails, which is, I believe this is how you get missions. So yeah, uh, I'm sorry our meeting was a little tense. I miss your father dearly. He was like a brother to me. In fact, he was a brother to me. <laughs> uh, my grief often gets the better of me and I find myself acting inappropriately. Please forgive me. I hope you like your apartment, but don't get too comfortable. I need to speak to you about something as soon as possible. Your uncle Kenny. Thanks for choosing the Badger Network. I ain't reading a lot. <laughs> I'm not. Fuck off. All right, we're gonna exit. Also, hold on. I actually forgot to show you guys one thing. Um, so, there's this also, which is replay, which I believe you just replay missions. Now, this game should be a fairly fast let's play. Um, I'm hoping to do longer episodes compared to the Luigi's Mansion let's play. Um, I'm yet to do a proper let's play on the second channel here and actually finish it. I didn't I finished Luigi's Mansion the game, but I never finished the let's play. Cause I, I just I couldn't be arse editing. Y'all don't know how long it takes to edit, but this game might be less edited. Um, which is good. We are gonna go to Uncle Kenny now. Yo, this song, bro, this song isn't Finite Champion. Low key. Yeah, this isn't Fight Night Champion. Um, a very good game. It's a boxing game. I actually played it. Played Legacy Mode. I won every belt, but I didn't win every belt at the same time, so I gotta beat that someday. <clears throat> My dear nephew, I'm screwed. I've spoken briefly with our leader, Sheen Drumming, about the loss of the sword. I'm just gonna say their first names. Yu Jan. He's not happy. There will be harsh consequences for me. Well, I'm sorry to hear that, uncle, but what about the man who killed my father? Surely that's more important than some dude and a fucking sword. I'm working on it. I haven't slept with worry. But Sheen's favor is vital to our family. I'm sure it's vital, uncle. I'm sorry if I was disrespectful. How can I help? I'd love to go after the man who tried to kill me and rip their fucking tongues out with pilers or pliers. Fuck! Dyslexic cunt. If you want to help me, nephew, please do as you say. You're new here. Things aren't exactly going well for us right now, aren't they? Listen, I need help running my business while I deal with Ching's rage. A couple of my crew are observing a squad of undercover cops who are spying on an exotic movie I am financing. Pretty for artistic reasons, of course. A porno? I need you to head over there and find out what they haven't reported back to me. Easy enough. Take my car and I and I like the car, so do not try to get murdered again. Okay. Um Press start to enter your PDA and open your GPS to get your next thing. Okay. I guess it's standard. Is it standard? Uh we'll help you navigate. You can place by pressing X. Cool. Uh, you can quickly put it on your safe house, contacts, and others. Uh, okay. So if I press X and I go to points of interest, this should be the mission. Um, of course, I did play this game on DS back in the day. However, I do not remember anything from this. I remember the part where I was stuck at, uh, which was some something to do with... I don't know, the cocaine and drug deal or something, and I could never get that past that bar. Um, 
but the rest of the story I do not remember what happens so this is fairly new to me anyways oh I almost crashed into the cop fuck all right into this alleyway we go let's see what's here <coughs> is that a woman oh what the fuck are you doing in Kenny's car I'm his nephew Huang Li who the fuck are you Oh, you're the rich prick from Hong Kong who lost the sword. Nice one. And I thought Americans do not understand sarcasm. Nice haircut. Did I say that or she said that? Oh, shit. Yeah, funny. I'm Ling Shan. I'm all that's left of Kenny's spies who got jumped by the pigs. You mean those pigs? Whoa. If a cop sees you commit a crime, you will get a wanted level indicated by a yellow star. The more stars you have, the harder the cops will tr or the cops will try to take you down. Okay. You can disable pursuing cop cars by causing them to crash or by ramming them at speed. So, it's it's pretty much the need for speed most wanted fucking cop system and carbon as well. Shit, get us out of here, Huang, and I'll marry you. Yeah, I know about sarcasm. Oh. I hope that's true. I wanna, I wanna fuck the shit out of you. Okay, I'm already fucking getting cornered. Shit, I'm leaving. You know why this game's crazy? The fact they got a GTA game on a Nintendo console. Like I believe Chinatown Wars and the fucking trilogy definitive edition are the only GTA games ever put on Nintendo consoles. Cause, uh. They're fucking very PG. When the stars are flashing, you have evaded to stay out of trouble. Okay. Seems fairly simple. Stick moves, rich kid. Come on, let's get out of here, says Ling. Sorry if some of the text looks weird. Um, so the PSP emulator basically upscales everything, all the textures and stuff. So that's why text will look weird. However, I do not want to fucking play in 500 by 500 or whatever the f original uh, thing is. And this is why I'm playing this version of it because even the DS get a version looks worse. So yeah, this is the best version of the game I can give you. What is this Chinese music? Oh shit, I can change the camera. It's like different cameras. This is the one I want because I want to see the most. Oh yeah, wait. Oh, there's some armor here. Hold on. I remember the petrol stations have really cool, like, things, minigames here. I wonder if I can do it. Like, there was a Molotov, I remember, thing you could do. Bro, all the sounds in this game are so nostalgic, is all I want to say. Can I still do it here? Can't see shit. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, I'll show you guys that some other day. Hopefully I don't crash into a fucking pump. Because I can't see it, because the roof is in the way. Nice. <laughs> So, uh, coffee? <laughs> Very funny, but I better take Kenny's car back and tell him personally what happened to his exotic movie shoot and team of hard man killers. So, I got nothing. Before you go, can I, can I ask you a question? Were you an observer or an actress in the art house movie? Keep it in your pants, Huang. I doubt it's very impressive. I'll see you around. You bitch. Call it my dick, small. I know I'm Asian, but still. Okay, wash and lube. Pause. <laughs> um, I believe there was supposed to be some text there that was explaining the fucking sp spray place, but I don't know what the hell happened. But yeah, you can also get rid of cops by going to spray things. I. I talk like I know a lot about this game, but I actually don't. 1.4%. Jesus Christ! Man, I expected like 20% by now. I'm only playing 20 minutes! Fucking idiot. Alright, let's- I just want to check stats. Recently, I've been very, very... I love games, yeah. I love games that show you how long you spent playing. Um, this is it's cool to know how long you spent playing. I wish I had my original uh, DS save so I could really know how, how long I played. There seems to be a lot of content here, actually. There's apparently fucking multiplayer as well. That's cool. I don't know to what extent, but... 
copy. You check your current objectives, GPS. Cool. Well, there's just a huge case, so we're gonna go towards that. Fucking cunt. Where's the sword? <laughs> I'm the one that lost the sword, but still. <clears throat> Being unable to present Shing his sword, as I promise, has forced me to step down as a potential here for our leader. I'm sorry, uncle, but as soon as we get the sword back, you'll be able to reclaim your position. Meanwhile, my father remains dead. Thank you, Wang. But recovering the sword is no longer the most pressing matter. My business are being threatened by igno ignoble street punks who think I'm finished. They kick someone when they are down. I know a proverb, pr proverb about that once. I knew a proverb. Keep your friends close and your enemies closer. No! <laughs> Look before you leap? No. Anyways, that's not important right now. What is important is that I'm getting buggered about a lot of dudes and this is not my scene. It's war, nephew. I need you to get some weapons, weapon training. And Huang, despite the horrors of your father's death, I'm glad you're here. Cool, I can't read, probably. I don't know. I read stuff as I see it. Sometimes I don't even fucking read, like, with my mind. All right, I'm not even gonna drive in there. I can't be ours. Such a small alleyway. Ooh, ooh, sexy baby, Ling. You're Kenny's master at arms. I could teach you a thing or two, Huang Li. I bet you could, but I'm not that easy. Listen, if you want to stay alive in the city, you better learn how to defend yourself. Can you fight at all? Show me your best punch. All right. Uh, tap or and use B. Cool. Uh, one, two, three. One, two, three. Uh, at the same time, to perform a flying kick. I'm not gonna remember this. <laughs> Shit. Not bad. You've got good legs. <laughs> I could say the same for you. <laughs> I'm sure those lines usually work, but I'm also sure you usually pay for women. God damn! I buy all my friends. Makes life easier. Nice. I think I like this lonely rich kid. I it kind of suits you. Can you use a gun? I can certainly try. Boom. Oh, that sound, bro. How do I change gun? Uh, select. Oh, it has a weapon wheel. That's cool. Die, die. There you go. What is all this ruckus about? Wang Li, quickly! Some fucking street punks are attacking one of my restaurants. Teach them the ignorance of their ways, Huang. I'll take my gun back. We'll get you on road. Okay, gotta follow her. Oh yeah, dumpsters are a thing in this game. I always keep weapons hidden in dumpsters all over the city for emergencies like this. Uh, select. Oh, I gotta hold. I won't remember that, man. Okay. <laughs> it's so weird because I'm used to like the DS controls, if that makes sense. Where you like, you actually take the trash. Like every trash bag, one after another. You're you're the protection, a bitch and a little punk. No wonder we're getting pissed on by every dog in town. Some thugs have dragged the boss around the back. Okay. Let's go, man. Let's kill these motherfuckers. Hey, ladies, tell the Gimp Kenny it's over. This is your town now. Really, little boy? Your town? Yeah, my town, bitch. <gasps> Holy fuck. <gasps> Ling, what the fuck? Is she dead already? Hello? Are we gonna... Oh shit, I keep skipping the fucking game by accident. Get over here, man. By the way, I can't do much about accuracy of my guy, so don't say my fucking... Aim sucks. Show enemy help, brightlings, healthy, red is near death. Oh shit, how- get to the roof to save the manager. Oh yeah, there's the fucking staircase here.
Okay. Who's this bald bastard? You took your fucking time, boy. I could have been killed. I love the comic style, honestly. But I wish I wish there was a voice acting. They could literally redo this game in third person, bro. And get a bag, literally. Okay. Well, we did that. How is she doing? How's my babe doing? Visit the Liberty City Gun D uh, Club near Francis International Airport if you want more firearm practice. I do not. Oh, shit. Lotto. <laughs> you can buy scraps in this game and win money. Fuck off. Okay, I'm not spending any more money on this shit. From Wukeni Lee. Nephew, that restaurant manager just been complaining about the quality of service we provide. As he is a man who likes to piss on his customers' drinks, I found his choice of words a little confusing. Nonetheless, we cannot tolerate this kind of humiliation. Come right now. Okay. What has happened is most distressing. I know, I cannot believe Link's dead. First my dad, now this. Link's dead? Well, yes, that's unfortunate. But I was talking about being attacked by nobodies. The shame of it. What? How can you be so cold? Link was a nice person. Oh fucking hell. Stop acting like a child. People die every day. I think she's still alive, honestly. It's the nature of this life we all chosen. Your father knew that. We mustn't allow death to distract us from our purpose. Our purpose? I've run this territory for years. And now some impotent street gang think they could fucking take it away from me? Make them pay for the arrogance for him. And eventually... Said it with true feelings, uncle. Alright, well I guess we we get to fuck him up, I guess. Uh, let me change the fucking radio. I'm actually sick and tired of that Fight Night song, not gonna lie. <laughs> Cause I heard it so many times. In my opinion, Fight Night Champion is one of the war- Oh shit. Um, okay. Fight Night Champion has one of the worst fucking soundtracks ever. Like, I hate that I need a dollar sign. It's ridiculous. I need a dollar, dollar, dollar. what I need. Hey, hey. I hate that fucking song with a passion. Okay, bitch. What? Oh, someone's shooting me already. I can't even see them. Where am I aiming? I forgot how to shoot. Fuck you, bitch. Alright. Let's get in. Hey, try it. What are you doing here? I'm finishing what I started in Curves Heights. No, I'm fucks with my family. Get the fuck back here, you cunt. No, jump the fucking thing. Why are you like. Come on, jump over it, jeez. Don't lose the fucking- I'll try my best. Oh shit. I keep trying to shoot with trigger, but I keep skipping the fucking time in the game. Come on. Shoot him, there you go. Oh, for fuck's sake. I better not die here. Come on. I literally cannot make my aim better. What is he doing? Why is he leaving? Fuck, he's driving away. Shit. Shit. I know he's getting away. I'm trying my best here, okay, game. How do I even shoot in the car? Shit, I skipped again. Oh, the, the cops beating the shit out of him. <laughs> okay, the cop beat the shit out of him. There you fucking go. If you have money, you can buy more houses. I didn't even do this in the DS game. I didn't even buy a house in the DS. How much does it cost? I wonder. I definitely don't have the money. Ah, 15,000. Goodbye. Good fucking bye. Honestly, the warehouse is kind of useless because I can just press start and I can go save here. So I don't even have to go back there every time and go on the sofa. Unless you are doing a drug deal. Like, one cool thing in this game is you can do drug deals. Now, I'll just let the game explain it once I get there because I don't even remember how it works. Shin Zidi's song, Chang Wam, has had the audacity, the impudence, 
the outright insanity of asking me to work for him. Great, this could help you regain face with Shin. Yeah, but there's not much honor in wiping Chan's ass. I could never lower myself to be his lackey. Maybe you could. I'm honored you think so highly of me, kind uncle. I'm sorry, Huang. Sorry I can't offer you better. Sorry I'm not the big boss. Sorry no one here with, uh, with the silver spoon ready to shove it up your pampered ass. Your father, rest his soul, ruined you. What's the job, kind uncle? Chan needs to acquire some fast cars for a street race. Now believe me, Chan is mentally subnormal. So the thought of him driving fast is somewhat worrying, but he seems to need them. The deadline for the del delivery was yesterday, so you better hurry. And Huang, thank you. Alright, uncle. I do all the fucking work for you. Get all the cars to the garage by 1845. I actually remember this mission. There's a cool car we actually steal. Um, I believe the red car is the one we're taking. Yeah, I remember this mission actually vividly. Which is weird. Um, oh, we're doing another mini game. We're unscrewing this, 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 and this. And then wires. Yeah, I remember this. Boom. Oh shit, I gotta hold that, do that. Perfect. Deliver this car to the garage. There you go, here's the garage. Okay, now we got like three more cars, I believe. What's the green bar down there? I think if it reaches a hundred, it calls the cops or something, or the alarm goes off. Alright, this place here. Oh shit, why am I shooting not the fucking car? Another nice car. What is this? Connect your PDA, the news to... Okay. Bam. One. Okay. Zero. Nine. Seven. Perfect. That is more complex and I guess harder. Okay, and we have one last car. Ew, this car! <laughs> yeah, these cars is- like, this is the worst car, definitely. It's like yellow and purple, what the fuck? I almost hit that car, holy shit. I hit the cop, he didn't care, okay. <laughs> yep, we're here, we're here, we're here. I remember- I don't know why I remember this mission vividly. Um, like I remember this shit. Uh, maybe because I probably struggled with this mission, honestly, on the DS. I wouldn't be surprised. I was- I was worse at games than I am right now, so yeah. We have another email, hopefully a new mission. Um, let's see here. Nephew, I hope you're enjoying yourself bleeding me dry in the apartment I am paying for. I myself am experiencing rather dire cash flow problems. I need your help. Please come visit me. Are we gonna do drug deals now? My honorable reputation is in the gutter. I'm finished, Huang. Finished! Really, uncle? Did your wife find your video collection? All of my street dealers are abandoning me. All my ears is a noble outlet. Fuck. Uncle, let me help you. What are you dealing with? Counterfeit goods? Stolen merchandise? My stock is more pharmaceutical in nature. Oh, that's the word. The kind that's difficult to legally source. Of course you're a drug dealer. A noble drug dealer. Is there any other kind? But I don't think I want you getting involved in the drug trade, Kwong. You're young and and just end up tripped out on ecstasy with a needle full of skagging your uh, veins and midget blown cock up your ass. And it's all my fault. Your father would expect me to protect you. Well, powerful images, uncle, but I can handle myself. I wish I could count on you to uphold our tradition and finally become a man. I've already taken the liberty of having some samples delivered to your apartment. There's a fine merchant in East Island City who will be happy to take them off you. Cool! I'm dealing drugs now! I'm a drug dealer! 
So this is a, a very critically acclaimed part of the game, which is the drug dealing. Like, people were like, this should come back to GTA games. From inside it, you can decide w uh, what drugs to carry with you and which to keep secure in your stash box. I was left some samples, the stash box, to move over to the stash box and press X to open it. Kenny has left some acid for you. Press R to look at your stash box. Okay. Press X to select this. Okay. Bought price, market value. Vary the amount of asset to transfer to your holdall by pressing up and down. But as Kenny wants you to sell all of it, press X to get the full amount. Cool. Now, on the DS, when I was playing this game, I did not fucking understand how this works. And I believe there's a mission later on that you have to deal drugs, and I probably just ended up doing something wrong and losing all the drugs or whatever. But yeah, I, I don't really remember how you do this. Shows a long deal and deals, you know. Okay, thanks. So you can make a lot of money in this game by dealing drugs, but I gotta figure out how to do this. Like, there's a market and everything, which is cool. Uh, approach the dealer. Hopefully this is not a setup. Uh, hold select to deal with the dealer. How are you? What are you after? I want to sell this shit. Here's all the asset I have. Okay, I didn't get to read everything. I'll be away down. What have you got now? Nothing. Goodbye then. I'll miss your stunning conversation, Oscar. All right, man. <laughs> Man, that's good shit. I can feel my dick shaking already. I'll have to get on that mollus later. Now listen, there's a bit of an issue right now. Those security cameras. Every fool in town is getting arrested. Very good for those of us who haven't gone down. Until they come down, prices will just stay high. Sorry, friend. That's capitalism. So buy and demand, baby. So what? So am I not supposed to like do drug deals when I see a camera? Adira has sent an important email. Cool. Um, let's see. I got two emails, actually. From Ammunition, whatever. I'm selling coke at crazy prices. Come and find me. So, very cheap. Okay, so we can go buy coke from this dude. And then we can probably sell it at another dealer for more money, I guess. That, that's how it works. It seems fairly simple, but I remember this being more complicated than it is. Or maybe I was just a dumb little kid. I mean, I was like 12 at the time, so... No security cameras around here? I mean, we're dealing drugs in a fucking public park with people walking around. Is this a good idea? I don't know. Uh, let's see what well, he has to sell. So he's selling... Just mentioned in trade tips are highlighted by a star icon. You were tipped off that this dealer is selling coke at a very low price, so buy as much as you can afford. Alright, we're gonna buy all of that. Perfect. Cool, don't care, man. Yeah, it was a setup. It's fucking park, man! So if you get busted, you just lose all the drugs. So you can literally work so hard to buy a lot of stuff and just lose your money and the drugs. I guess. <laughs> Which would suck. But it's something I know is gonna happen to me. At one point in this let's play. Fuck your cop cars man shit god damn it and no I'm not gonna set fucking I'm not gonna set the triggers as driving the car because then that would change everything because <laughs> the game is supposed to be a and then X to go back okay stash box stash this fucking coke in there that completely gets rid of my wanted level can now trade with drug dealers whenever you are not on mission explore the city to find more drug dealers cool but i'm not gonna carry this fucking coke oh my oh may um i don't know if i'll be doing these drug dealer missions i don't know we'll see even simple star owners are choosing to forget that their security is best served by the noble protection i extend if they refuse to pay for my service, how am I gonna look after them? It's for the greater good that they realize bad things like explosive fires, accidental deaths, and such like happen to those without my protection. Explosive fires? You want me to burn those stores down? No, Huang! That would be dishonorable and bad for business. You need only to make an example of one. Cool! Are we gonna get to do the Molotovs now? Yeah, baby! Boom! 
We're here. Let's buy some gas. Okay. X. Fill as many bottles as you can until the gas runs out. Oh, yeah. Fucking hell, it's spraying so... So much. Fucking hell. Jesus Christ, man. But this is how my fucking piss aims when I'm drunk. Ah, that's it. Out of gas. Ten Molotovs. Okay, that's fine. Go to the Spanish Lord's car lot. Okay, we're gonna burn a bunch of cars down, I guess. Get out of the vehicle. Cool. Alright, use the Molotovs to destroy the cars. Hold L and move. In the required... Oh, Jesus. So many controls in this game. That exploded the car immediately. Shit. Go to the store. Alright. Firebomb the store as well. Damage meter will... Okay. Should I throw more then? Shit! I'm gonna die! That is the quicker it will burn to the ground. Okay. I'm not gonna be stingy with these. Is that over? Fuck, I know. I gotta get more? I mean, either way it's gonna burn, but I want it to burn as fast as possible. Because I don't care <laughs> about setting here. Okay, well, I didn't even have to throw more, so... Boom. I mean, we were supposed to only set an example. And we literally explored a whole shop. Cool. Time to get back. I am not gonna gamble in this game, so those that lotto has to stay the fuck away from me. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching the first episode of Chinatown Wars. Please leave a like if you enjoyed. Uh, make sure to subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.